Welcome again to the Sunday Guerrilla Men's Bible Study. and Brother Thomas Lee House III. And we're continuing in the book of Habakkuk, verse by verse. We've reached the third chapter, the final chapter in the book. And we will continue. Verse 1. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet on Shig Gornoth. Verse 2. O Lord, I have heard your speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One of Mount Paran. Paran. Selah, his glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. His brightness was like the light. He had rays flashing from his hand, and there his power was hidden. Before him went pestilence, and fever followed at his feet. Verse 6. He stood and measured the earth. He looked and startled, and startled the nations. And the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetual hills bowed. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Cushan in affliction. The curtains of the land of Midian trembled. O oh Lord, you were displeased with the rivers. Was your anger against the rivers? Was your wrath against the sea? That you rode on your horses, your chariots of salvation? Your bow was made quite, quite ready. Oaths were sworn over your arrows. Selah, you divided the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and trembled. The overflowing of the waters passed by. The deep uttered its voice and lifted up its hands on high. Verse 11. The sun and the moon stood still in, the, in their habitation. At the light of your arrows they went. At the shining of your glory. Amen. At the shining of your glittering spear. Verse 12. You marched through the land in indignation. You trampled the nations in anger. You went forth for, for the salvation of your people, for the salvation with your anointed. You struck the head from the house of the wicked by laying bare from the foundation to, to neck. Amen. By laying bare from foundation to neck. Selah. Verse 14. You trust through you thrust through with his own arrows the head of his villages. They came out like a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was like feasting on the poor in secret. <clears throat> you walk through the sea with your horses, through the heap of great waters. When I heard my body trembled, my lips my lips quivered, quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered my bones, and I trembled, <clears throat> trembled in myself, that I might rest in the day of trouble. When it comes up to the people, he will invade them with his troops. <clears throat> Verse 17. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit, fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Verse 18. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. In verse 19. The Lord, is, the Lord is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet. And he will make me walk on my high hills. To the chief musician. With my stringed instruments. And that completes the third chapter in the book of Habakkuk. May God bless you. Amen.